Hey, things are not what you think. Yeah, there's always something you don't know. <coughs> Welcome to Joey's Real, Real Talk. Talk. 老外大声说。Back to the article that I was talking about. Okay, cheating, right? In different different countries.、Mm-hmm. So, what was it? Milu Ren. Milu. Milu, which is also Peru. <laughs> so in Peru, they say, 若是一男一女两外出约会就是出轨 So as long as you go on a date, then that's cheating in If Peru. If you have a boyfriend or girlfriend,、like、right, right. If you're in a relationship, right. And then next, next we got 美国人 which is Americans. 他们觉得上床才是出轨 So you、wow. can you can you know greet the an the opposite. Uh, gender or like kiss or hug, but that's not cheating. Only on you know on、If、the bed, have a, bed uh, activities, uh, right? <laughs> activities. <laughs> that kind of a relationship. That is considered cheating. All right, and then we got Thai 国人，然后他绝不容许另外一半和其他异性一眼 ，as in you can't even look at an opposite sex. That's, that's impossible. <laughs> that is physically impossible. It is physic. Yeah, that's right. 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 But I, I think it means like if we, the couples are together, and then let's say、that、this girl's boyfriend,、stare. that is still physically too impossible. Too long at someone in the eye, then then the girlfriend's gonna go off. So that's the standard、okay. in Thailand. All right.、Okay. Mm. I'm just gonna go right here really quickly and say like. Yeah. What's up? I don't. I know this is Joy's real talk, but today, today this is like real unfair to me. Like, <laughs> why?、Uh, there's three girls here, and I feel like if I say the wrong thing, just like even a little、you、bit wrong. You know what? Lay the smack down. You know what, <laughs> Leslie? We don't gotta care so much about what other people think about <laughs> us. It's real talk. We gotta be real. So you gotta say how you really feel. You know what I mean? All right. I'm real nervous right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the last thing I want to talk about is in France, Fa Guo Ren. Um, they're allowed to be married. But even being married, you're allowed to have a boyfriend or girlfriend outside of marriage, as long as it doesn't affect the marriage itself. Well, that's interesting. How can it not? And I guess、uh, they're like looser with these things. Like, right? They feel like not as as long as you don't affect the family. You know, we still have our family events. You're you working do, you to support、things. the family. You know, we're doing housework or whatever. But you can, on your own time, if you have spare time, you can have another relationship outside. So、But like that girlfriend、thing. or that boyfriend can't affect us. You know what I mean?、But、like an open marriage kind yeah, of. Yeah, kind、huh. of. So that's France. Why'd you look at me when you said that? I don't know. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, like, oh yeah, Leslie knows about this. If I look the other way, it's the microphone pole. So this is the <laughs> only direction.、Uh, Jim Tai on Facebook Live in the comments, he says it's Joey's real talk without Joey. Exactly. Yay! Shout out to Joey wherever he is. I don't think he's listening right now. <laughs> Probably not. Okay.、Sure. So yeah, that I want to start off that article to let everyone know that love is very different、mm. from where you are coming from in the world, and just like cheating, also dating, dating culture, to be specific. Hmm. Interesting. Exactly. That's what we're talking about so, today. So I want to ask you guys, what is dating to you? Do you guys date? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Married, child. Yeah. Right. Got that. Let's talk to Leslie. Wait, don't put the spotlight on me, man. You already know I'm nervous. Well, let me just refer to Wikipedia right here. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Who says it in such eloquent terms? It says, according to Wikipedia, dating is defined as a stage of romantic relationships in humans whereby two people meet socially, possibly as friends or with the aim of assessing each other's suitability as a prospective partner in a more committed, intimate relationship or marriage. Whoa. It can be a form of courtship that consists of social. Activities done by the couple. The, It goes on. Holy. Yeah,、okay. the protocols and practices of dating and the terms used to describe it vary considerably from country to country、mm-hmm. and over time. While the term、I'm、has several,、okay. yeah, <laughs> while the term has several meanings, the most frequent usage refers to two people exploring whether they are romantically or sexually compatible by participating in dates with the other. With the use of modern technology, people can date via telephone or computer or meet in person. And that's all the time we have for the show today. <laughs> Thank you, Wikipedia. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Wikipedia. Now, Leslie, I'm asking you, what is your、uh, what is your dating life like, or what has it been like? What, what in the culture <laughs> you grew up、space. with? What is dating to you? What is what is dating to me? Well,、yeah. I think Wikipedia said it best for me. It didn't really it didn't really say anything, but you know, tell the truth. It's、Leslie. a whole lot of nothing. Tell the, tell the truth. truth. Yvonne <laughs> is telling you to tell the truth. It's been good. It's been. How do you date? How do you meet people? And you know. I don't know how do you breathe, Erica. You know, you just do it. <laughs> Leslie, stop avoiding the question. 
<laughs> okay, okay. We'll we'll let you cool off. Let's move on. Let's let's go to Nancy first because Leslie's kind of nervous right now. Yeah, we'll oh, give Leslie kinda. some time to to stew and sweat. Um, back back when I dated a couple years <laughs> yeah. back, um, I think I'm more like the Asian culture. Um, I kind of date somebody to be in a serious relationship. I'm not mm -hmm. like the kind of person who can date multiple people at once. Oh, oh dear. Oh my gosh. Uh, hello. This hello. is very distracting. <laughs> Ron standing outside in a tank top. Hi, All Ron. Right. Ron, I need you to tag in for me. <laughs> it's, it's like 20 degrees outside today. Do you want to jump in? We're talking about All right. I, I really want Ron's perspective because yeah, yeah, Leslie is being like, Thank you. I will too much be... of a scaredy cat to talk about his Ron, true feelings. Ron. Ron, level with me here, man. I am in a. I am outnumbered three to one. I noticed that. That's why I came to your rescue. You see, now, now, I'm, now you're here. It's three to three. There we go. Ron, welcoming Ron. This is the first time we're talking to five you, thank people. You, thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, so well, Nancy, dating, where are you saying? Uh, oh, okay, right. Okay, I'm going. Uh, dating, uh, right? More like the Asian one, one person at a time. <laughs> um, and if this person doesn't work out, then we end that, and then we go on to the next one. And it's not like you know the right way to do it. It's just the way I'm comfortable doing it. How do you normally meet people? Usually, back when I dated, um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I keep emphasizing it's like through work or through you. school. See okay. You see this person every day, so it's very easy to get to know a person before you actually have to go out. On, go out on a date date right have you right. ever tried online dating or like the <laughs> telephone like I have, apps, I have, dating apps? I, one of my boyfriends i met one of uh <laughs> like linear and on a linear timeline one of my boyfriends uh i met him on facebook actually we started messaging over facebook and we had similar interests and then we started talking and then we went out on a date a date. A date. Never got past the Never got one. past the first date. No, well, he was my boyfriend, so, you oh. know, it was oh, more so. than a date. <laughs> okay. So, Good okay, question, I want to ask, though, is there dating and, and a relationship, is it different in your perspective? Uh, Yes. I think in a, if, you, if you're in a relationship, you're committed, you know, and then if you're dating, you're just trying each other on like shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, a, I'm, okay. like a try, I'm like a try one pair on at a time kind of person. Okay, okay. Right. I think Leslie's like that too, right? <laughs> I asked you earlier. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. You see, I agree Leslie's with so everything nervous. Nancy says. Well, Ron's here, so I'm a little better now. But yeah, I, I, I agree with Nancy. I definitely agree with Nancy. Okay, let's just have Nancy here. You can leave now. <laughs> We're not gonna, I'm just kidding. I'm just this kidding. is exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, you can go now. You are you not needed here. Okay, okay, let's move on. Ron, Ron, what is dating to you? <laughs> dating. Hey, you know what? That's the beginning of what could be something big. Or it's just or it's just something to do. You know? Something to do. Yeah, something to do because, you know, you have hobbies and right. you do a lot of things, right? Yeah. So dating is something you, uh, uh, it's indoctrinated into you by the time you're 11, 12, 13, junior high school. Right. And you're kind of a shy guy. Well, most guys are kind of shy. And you don't even know how to say, you meet a girl and you see, and you see, whoa, what do I do now? You know, when you're 12, 13 years old. <laughs> yeah. And you want to say, I got to meet this girl. So you say things like, like, <laughs> Wait, what? what was that? So he's talking with his eyeballs. You know what, is, what he's saying. And, and you don't know what to do. So, uh, what's your name? Uh, okay. And of course Aww, the girl. So and the girl looks at you like, what? And you know, and guys get freaked out as soon as the girl does not give the right, because we have a perspective in our mind that right. she's going to come at you this way. If she likes you, you can say, "Hi, my name is Cynthia." And what's yours? And, oh, everything will be fine. But, but she's not going to do that. I think in middle school, it was more like you would know everything about that person you liked because yes. they're probably your classmate. And, and you stalk them. Yes, exactly. And then you yeah. found a way. Yeah. And even then, back then, we didn't date. It was more like, I kind of like you. I kind of like you, too. You okay, can go to the movies. We're together now. Yep. We're together now. You can go to the movies, though. Sorry. You can always go to the movie. The movie is the out. Everything you do is, you want to go to the movie? Because okay. you can't go to dinner. You don't have any money when you're 13 but years old. But at that time, was, did you consider her your girlfriend? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, See because you mean. know why? Because if she goes with, if she goes anywhere with you once or twice, I got a girlfriend. Does she know I that? Got She's a girl, your right? girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you call her girlfriend. When we're young, like, you just get together. I don't, I don't think there's a dating period when we're yeah. in middle school. Or no. high school. That's just too mature like, like for us to wrap it up. It just sounds brain. good, though. Anybody ask you, do you, have, do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah. Even if you don't, <laughs> you don't really. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't really know you that well. And if you ask her, is he your boyfriend? She'll say, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Sharon, finally, I want to ask you. You've been so quiet. 
And I'm really interested to know Sharon's perspective on this Ooh. because I know for a fact that Sharon comes from a very traditional yeah. and strict family. Yes. Ooh. So please tell us your experience with, um, like, first of all, what is dating to you and your experience. I'm just, I'm not going to say she anything sighs. else. <laughs> dating? I don't know. Just, like, you want to be with someone and you like this person. Yeah. And, well, because... As Erica said, I'm. I just turned 22, so. Oh yeah, 22 like, this month, by the way. So she's a baby. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, there's no pressure. It's like I'm not trying to like be in a relationship as soon as possible. I'm just taking Have you my time to date. Yes. Yes. Like but, when I see like all the couple goals yeah, and all the all pictures goals. like that. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> What's keeping you from? Meeting the right person, I guess. Okay, so she's very picky. So she's also extremely yeah, like kind of. I guess the Asian mind. Maybe yeah. should, maybe Sharon should tell us what kind of guy or or girl she's oh, interested please. in. Oh yeah. please! So, I, I don't want to cut out any possibilities. Did you try to make her. Look, I'm just saying. Really? What are you looking for? Really what right? are you looking, are you for, looking for, for in a partner? Um, someone make that makes my heart skip a beat. Oh, I guess. So romantic. <laughs> that's a, that's twenty two year old mindset. Just saying. Yeah, All yeah. Right. For now, for yeah, now. Yeah, sing the song. Okay, imagine you're giving Sharon. Yeah. From, oh, Sharon. <laughs> With those flowery eyes. Her heart? Yeah, it's got to be romantic, right? right? Really romantic. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I'm well, into those romantic. Let me jump in here and say, your Erica said that's the 22-year-old mindset. I don't think so. Oh, you know, God. okay, let's, because... Let's see some. Let's see some marshmallow, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> marshmallow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me just let me just give this some context. Right? Yeah. Me, my dad and my mom were together for 25 years. Oh, and, right. if you've, and if you've ever seen the way my dad looks like, looks at my mom, oh, you would God. think, like, that. that's the thing that I'm looking for, right? That's oh, what I'm... God. Right, because you grow up with that every single day, and you see how happy she makes my dad, and then I'm just like that. Like you can grow up with that, and then she's yeah. like, oh wow, that is, so yes. that is that's a good that's a good standard for you. That's yeah. an yeah. example. That you you know, I remember that. when I when we first became Facebook friends. I I must say that I kind of stalked your, your Facebook <laughs> and because no, because your your dad like kind of had a conversation with me in the comments. Oh. So I clicked onto your dad's Facebook page, and literally every single profile picture, if it wasn't you, then it was. Oh. His wife. Yeah. The sweetest thing. And I just felt like that Leslie must have a really great family. That's, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. So that's that's where I'm coming from. Okay, I got you. You know? A few years. Well, in my family, my mom and dad, every time they go out, they still hold hands. Oh, so and funny. like before we leave the house, my dad takes out my mom's shoes for her. Oh, right. Yeah, that's really that's sweet. sweet. I'm kind of seeing a pattern. Is it like if both, if your parents have a really, really good, sweet, tight relationship you're yes your yes. your dating life would probably not be as casual or not be as mm. you know you might be more conservative with how you choose your partner more selective more so free. like yeah. you see the level of happiness it can bring to a person yeah, exactly right and then you're just like wow i that's that's, I that's kind of that's kind of what you want i mean after all you, your parents are all you have to go off for for the, like the first mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i don't know what 18 Standard. years of your life mm -hmm. and then when that's so deeply ingrained and embedded in you you don't want to find anything else See, Aww. that's so good. You know, because from, from, from my perspective, in, in that part of America where everybody's, like, degenerate, you know, we, 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 <laughs> it's too much of Hollywood. You watch too much television, and you get an idea from what's going on television. Hey, I want to be like that guy. And you go out, and you rampage, and you become a womanizer for some point in your life, and then you finally realize, this ain't working. I'm, I'm angry all the time, and she's angry all the time. So you, you need to finally come down to what you want. And then when you do that... That's when you get the kind of relationship your folks had. Because mm -hmm. they see what they like in each other, and it just grows and grows and grows. If you're some kind of a madman, you never really get any proper idea of what you really want. So, yeah. So, I, yeah. I'm for that. Okay. okay. May Lynn on... <laughs> May Lynn on Facebook Live says, Oh, Leslie's so romantic. And then Jenny Huang says, So sweet. And then Johnny Lamb says, isn't Leslie single with heart's eyes? Leslie, look at you. This is like a big single <laughs> advert for Leslie. I think so. Real Talk has basically made you the most eligible bachelor in Taipei. There you go. Uh, well. And then and then ICRT CVG, CVGR Morning DJ, he says, I totally get that, Leslie. I have seen the same thing in my own family. That is what I want, too. Someone mm. I can look at like that and who lose looks, L looks at, me like, <laughs> at me like that. I think, Stevie, I think Stevie G got a little teary-eyed when he was typing that. And can't smell. Can't Did you smell. see the drips? All right, guys, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and then we're going to come back with more differences in dating culture.
This show is this this commercial is still running. Hey, yeah. No, I have to talk to Jenny. No, Jenny? No, no, I was like, Jenny? Is it Gui Pinto or the Minzi Ma? It's Y V O N N E, not E V O N N E. Okay. No, I'm just gonna give it out. No, you spelled it E V O N N E before. No, I always spell it Y V O N N E. I'm pretty sure I've heard you spell it E V O N N E. No. Not even when I was drunk. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. I met you last time, Jenny. Hello. I'm sorry. Okay, you're not careful. All right. Not careful. No, I misspelled. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. I'm still waiting for that part where you say it's. Joey. Yeah, you're right. It's Joey's real talk without Joey. Got it. So funny. Ah, we're today talking about dating or like, not dating. How do you say dating? Dating. Chinese约会 So that's what we're talking about today If you have 如果你有什么经验想要跟我们分享就可以在下面留言 然后今天也可以听到小关分享，我好好奇是不是很好奇，是不是要问他问题？刚满二十二岁，对，为什么？为什么台湾没有交往？就是，可能没有dating跟going out on a date，好像是不一样的东西，right？你们可以出去约会，约会一次或吃个饭，可是那个跟dating好像not the same。然后有一些人会觉得dating有可能，呃，可能就只有一个人会have one dating partner， but some people think I could date。If you can fight getting attached, that's the tough part. Dating without getting attached. The guy or girl that wants to meet a lot of people and you tell everybody you meet because everybody wants to date you. Oh well, I I think we should see other people. So don't get too serious right now. You know that guy, right? The girl too. You know, and then it goes on and on to nothing. Somebody's feelings will always get hurt every time. And then there's also the person who he pop he I say he but I guess she could also work. He or she likes something about you or thinks hanging out with you is fun and would continue to date you for that reason, but would never want to make you theirs. Theirs, yeah, that's that's kind of insulting. You roll the dice every time. That's basically your gambling every time, right? Yeah. And. You know, I was an economics major in school, so we say the higher the risk, the higher the reward. So you got to keep rolling that dice until you stop coming up snake eyes. And then, Whoa, there's a winner. Otherwise, otherwise, what? You're just afraid all the time, and then you just don't go for it. Yeah, your, your heart's a very delicate thing. You got to be careful with your heart. You can hurt your own feelings doing that kind of thing. No, I, yeah. you know, I just take it out and just throw it at the wall. That's what I do. <laughs> True. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, Xin. Oh my God. Leslie, read this. What? Xin Si Quan says dating and seeing someone is the same thing, right? No. Seeing someone and dating. I think. So. I think so. Kind of yeah. not. Have you ever seen someone? It depends on how many, I guess. Oh, it depends. <laughs> no, really. Because someone you're seeing, some someone you're seeing is automatically probably now it's a relationship, right? Yeah. But if I'm dating someone, maybe I don't know him that well. I mean, it's not a relationship yet. You know what I mean? It has to go for the levels, right? Yeah. So seeing someone is more of a serious relationship, and then dating could be... Seeing somebody, it's, okay, if I meet you in a club, and you'll say, and I say, what is your name? Blah, blah. Yeah, well, I'm seeing someone, so, you know. Oh, okay, okay. That means you can use that for an excuse any time. I'm seeing someone. You know, uh -huh, if you want to get rid of somebody. If you like this person who's talking to you, well, no, I, as a matter of fact, I'm not busy this Friday. <laughs> and then there you go. You use the word excuse, but it's not a real committed statement to say I'm seeing someone. I think this is all to be the personal perspective. So yeah. basically what you have to do is when you are possibly seeing or dating someone, you have to be clear on what the way Yeah. Mm. Erica. Welcome back to Joey's Real Talk without Joey. I love that statement. Right, we got Leslie, we got we got 
uh, Sharon, we got Ron here, yeah. and we've got Nancy. Hi. <laughs> okay. Packed house. Woo. Packed yeah. house. Seriously, first time there's five people in here, it's really, it's really squishy. Yeah, we need more microphones. <laughs> okay, so we were talking earlier during commercial break that um, what is dating and seeing someone the same thing? What do you guys think? We said, we said dating was definitely something uh, that is different in the West and the East. And then it kind of feels like here in Taiwan, at least, like when you say you're going out on a, people don't, people don't usually, usually date casually, like go out mm -hmm. on a lot of dates, especially with multiple people. Maybe you could go out like sugar fun, have a meal or yeah. watch a movie with someone. Mm -hmm. And that is a date, but you can't really, it's not really accepted to go out on dates with lots of people at the same time. Like, date yes. this person for the movie and then go to dinner with this person, you know. That Are you saying in Asia you don't do that? It seems kind of not kosher. And if you do that a lot and people know that about you, it kind of makes you Sleaze. seem like a... Yeah. Yeah. Sleaze. 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 Yeah, you have to true. say it like that, too. Sleazy. Especially in, um, like, in Taipei, it's, it's kind of more, like, what's it called? More like the West. They have more right. influences in the West. But in... Right. The countryside and also in a lot of countrysides in China, mm. they don't date at all. They when they find a partner, it's basically I'm looking to find a marriage partner. I'm Here. not gonna, you know, I'm, there's no dating to see if we like each other. It's just check the boxes on the yeah. Explain this turn to me though. Yeah. A lot of guys walk around. I met down through the years that they're walking around this girl and she's really gorgeous, right? And he'll, and and he'll say things like, "Yeah, this is my cousin." What does that mean? This is my cousin. Oh. Yeah, you, you've never heard that term? Guys, well, I found out about it later. Guys, every time you see this guy at the school, he says, it's my cousin. And then I found out uh, that's because he doesn't want anybody to know that he's got an interest in this girl. They hang out. But it cousin some jaga. Um Yeah. 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 How come these guys are walking around the hot girl and all the it's always just, why do you hang out with your cousin so much? And then, <laughs> <laughs> then I found out because it's not his cousin. He likes her. Oh. Mm. But what's the point of being cousin? Does that make it all? Is that the same thing? Is that true? Because like, I don't know. Just one girl that he's with, he might not necessarily like be really into her. Yeah. He's probably like with multiple girls, but but sometimes okay. they have like a girlfriend and oh. they meet this girl on the street and he's like, oh, this is my gun or this yeah. is my sister. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is real common to type in. Oh, I don't know what this is. I see that all the time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And now I want to ask you guys about parental involvement. Oh. Oh. I'm pretty sure Arranged marriage. for most of us, parental involvement is not happening for us in our dating lives. But in very like traditional places, parental involvement is... They have arranged engagements, and they have basically meeting uh, your partner is for your parents to choose for you. Okay, oh. I, have a, I have a question for Leslie. Well, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. You okay. Have, your parents are such a great example. Okay. That's what you're, you base your you know understanding of romance yes. Come on. Would you ever let your parents choose your, well, permanent partner? Um, I don't, I trust them to trust my judgment. You know what I'm saying? That was clean. So no. No, <laughs> no, no. Leslie is such a diplomatic speaker. That was he just smooth. Completely. Mm -hmm. Well, like when you said parental involvement, I was going to say, oh, yeah, my dad still picks me up and drops me off at all my dates. So <laughs> that's Whoa. the parental involvement. <laughs> he waits outside the car. That's awesome. Mm. That's <laughs> okay, so there was an article that I read about someone, um, this guy. He was from Egypt. And actually, they get, they don't have relationships. They don't have dating. They immediately get engaged. So let's say two families, the parents, they they made an agreement that they want their kids to have an engagement, and mm -hmm. then so they get engaged, uh -huh. and then but instead of saying we're exact, we're gonna get married for sure, they do like an engagement for two years, two, two years, two to three years, and then we'll see what happens, and then they get married. But That's there's like no, dating. um, yeah, but it's there's no other, there's no one else involved. It's and also this, the goal is for us to get married. How did that work out? Yeah, I was gonna Erica, does that does that work most of the time? In Egypt? Uh, in Egypt. <laughs> well, you know, no, we used to have that in Taiwan like a long time ago. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So does that normally work? Like, does it work? I mean, because you, you can't. Me? No, I mean, <laughs> but do you know any relatives, any aunties or anything like that? I mean, because it happened a long time ago. Yeah. That, you know, right. But I mean, did it always work? Who knows? I think it works sometimes. Who knows?
Yeah, because I, mean, I always wonder how successful that is, you know? Probability. It's got to work sometimes, right? And Because you don't want to upset your parents, right? Yeah. I mean, the kid, I mean, uh, you, I mean, but nowadays it's a different story. But I mean, 20, 30 years ago, maybe I think as recently as thirty years ago, it was like that. You, I used to hear about yeah. people getting, yeah, in China. But, yeah. yeah. Like even to some degree in Taiwan, uh, there was really hardcore traditional families. Yeah, they would they would tell me that. Yeah, my 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 parents like him or her because, and we are seeing each other. But I was always wondering, is there a love factor here? They will learn to love each other. I think you know? it's you learn to love each other, and also mm. in that kind of situation, you don't have the space to be. To be, you don't have the choice to be picky. Mm. If there is problems that maybe you don't, that doesn't make you love this girl or get drawn to this person, but the the goal is to c- procreate, to create life, and to continue Oof. the nope. family life. And, and also to add family, and, and also to fit into social norms of having a husband or wife and children. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you see, there's the thing. That's that's where that's where I begin to have a problem with it, right? Like I have friends who are just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna like 30, 31, 32. Yeah, to it's yes. about to, it's about time to get married. I'm like. Do you even care what the other person is like? They're just like, not really, as long as I get married. I'm Are just you like, thinking Taiwan? Yeah. Like mm. girls or guys? In Asia? Both, both. Yeah, in Asia. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. I've seen people get, like, date and then get engaged and married within a year. <laughs> within a yeah. year. That's serious. And I was just like, that's, I don't think you're going about, like, the mentality is all wrong to me. Mm-hmm. The mentality for me is always just like, you find the right person. If you don't, you know, if you do, great. If you don't, you got to be comfortable with being with yourself, man. Right. Otherwise, this is going to be a whole basket case of, you know, kids and there's this commitment that you're not 100% in on. Yeah. It's just not happening. I, I say the timing, which is um, true. In Asia, there's this thing called shengnu, which mm-hmm. means mm-hmm. leftover mm-hmm. women. Mm-hmm. Oh, and basically, no. by the age of 26, 27, oh by, society already considers you a leftover woman. Oh, you're not married yet. That's so. the stigma. Oh. Yeah. That's yeah. why you got to get married, especially women. Yeah. That's really, yeah. Because now they get to some, yeah. Is that right? Right. Yeah, and it's yeah. so, it's so, the pressure is on because normally in Taiwan or let's say China, um, when you're in high school and when you're in college, you're so mm. busy with school schedule, with testing. Literally, the students here in Asia are, this, I feel so bad for them because they have absolutely no time no for way. hobbies, yeah. for dating. Like, that doesn't happen until after college. And, and they, they, you graduate and then uh-huh. they're like, you gotta get married. Yes, you're exactly. You, you have four years left before you become a leftover yes. woman. Yes. Mm. Oh. Like, what in the what's, world? God, how could a girl take that? I know. That's, and if you're what's bad? And if your parents and if your parents are conservative, you're actively like not allowed to date or you know to socialize with boys very much or or, or girls, I guess. Um, and then you know, so you don't really have the social skills to properly oh. you know be with a person of a, of, yes. Yeah, and like in oh, China, yeah. every year like for New Year's, you go back to your home. Mm-hmm. And you have to meet your parents, and they're gonna be like, "Hey, um, are you Where's dating anyone? Oh, yeah. When are you gonna yeah. get married?" No, yeah. So there's this like part-time boyfriend thing in China. <gasps> for you rent. pay this, yes, for rent. Oh! Oh! And so, like, you can be at your family dinners and meetings, wow. and be like, "Oh, hi, this is my boyfriend." <laughs> is that like really hilarious? Yeah, I think so. Wow. That's how much pressure it is, <laughs> right? It's like Holy you cow. forbade me to date, and I had no social skills yeah. when I was growing up, and now you expect me to immediately like. Get yeah. Yeah, there's this thing on the the internet. They're just like when you're twenty, when you're between you're eighteen and twenty two, your parents are just like pressure. No, no, just just like concentrate on school, no mm-hmm. boyfriend. Oh, yeah. When you're out of school, find a job, mm-hmm. and then by like the time you're twenty five, twenty six, they're just like, why no grandkids? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh my god, I feel like that's kind of like my family. Well, you know, these guys yeah, come in, yeah. though, the paid guy. It's usually something like Leo DeJuan or somebody. I mean, it's like, really gorgeous guy comes uh-huh. in with your parents. Yeah, this is the, this is my boyfriend. Do the parents ever look like he's the boyfriend? Like, How like, long has he been your boyfriend? I mean, does the investigation get underway? Or do the parents <laughs> automatically accept that as I being I guess it happy? depends. Yeah. Like, some of them are just like, oh, you're finally getting boyfriend, and mm-hmm. I'm so proud. And some of, the, some of them are like, hey, where are you from? How's your family yeah, like? Yeah, yeah. Ah, the them. question yeah. is, And, of course, the parents are always, well, I think maybe Asian parents more, they don't care so much about if, you know, you have a house. Yes, exactly. Do you have a house? Yes, yeah. exactly. Do you have a car? car? They're more Do practical you have about this What thing. kind of a it's degree? Not so much about... There's a commercial circulating now. It's about a guy meeting the parents of his girlfriend, and then he's, like, so well prepared. He's just like, how's your... And then he's got, like, a degree from, like, the top track. <laughs> and then he's just like... Huh? And then he's... Not even real. He, like, sneezes, and then, like, Maserati car keys are on the thing. Oh, my God. And he, like, pulls out credit cards. And Technique. then, like, yeah. Technique. Yes, exactly. Okay, uh, Sharon, I want to ask you because uh-huh. I know you're homeschooled. Yeah. And you are very, very close to your family. Mm-hmm. So, 
what is um what am i trying to ask well i asked my <laughs> mom i was like right can i date oh, she's probably listening oh. right now oh. Oh. I was like, um, do you mind if I date? She's like, sure, just do your thing. I, I don't mind, just date or whatever. Oh. And then, when was this? When was this? How old were you? Like last year. <laughs> okay, okay. It's very it's fresh recently, for you. It? Yeah, and, and then like one day I was like, hey, can I date? I was like, there's this guy I like. He was like, dating? What are you talking about? Uh-oh. I was like, you're so Denial. young. <laughs> you're so young. He's like, don't talk about that what nonsense. Like, what, what are we want? talking about? I was like, I thought you said you were fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> Until you got real about it. No. Yeah. yeah, that would, yeah. So, so I don't know. Okay. In theory, it's okay. But if there's an actual person involved, yeah. then it's not okay. Because I'm like still a child to her, and she still has to get used to me growing up and stuff. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We're so For me, far I'm just like, that stage. I'm going to be out for like six hours, don't wait up, and then like one day I'll just show up. Yeah, but you know, but for a guy, no matter what culture it is, for a guy, no matter what culture it is, it's going to be a little easier for you, even, my, even in, 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 in America. My my sister, I could be, me and the guys, we'd run out and out all night, all hours of the day. My sister come in after 11.30, where you been? You know, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, but nobody asks us, so you know, it's, it's a little different thing for girls and guys, no matter where you are in the world. Like that. Mm, mm. Yep. That's depressing. Uh, well, how was, how, was your, how was it for you, Nancy? Like, um, I went through the whole, like, listening to my mom, telling my mom everything phase, and then that lasted until I was about 27, and then the pressure crashed down with wow. the, when are my grandkids coming, la da da <laughs> And then that's when I rebelled, because it was really so much pressure that I could not take it, and we went through a really rough period, me and my mom, where, like, I wouldn't tell her anything. It was, like, completely shut out, and she'd be like, where are you going? I'm like, well, out with my friends. She's like, do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't. No, I don't. And then I had a boyfriend for three years, and I never told her. Mm. And then we got married. So. Whoa. 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 Please tell me mom came to the wedding. We we did tell her. We did when we decided to get married, we told her and then I gave her enough time to get to know him and yada yada and so they're fine now. We're all fine. Oh, next, you I, I don't I don't recommend oh, nice. this. But it did work in my case. Okay. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. In our, in our terms, it's also like for guys, like I kind of feel that pressure sometimes, more so lately, because, you know, you have this obligation to carry on the family line. Ooh. But the thing is, the nice thing was I've ha- I have two older brothers. One is 17 years older than me. The other one is six years older than me. And so and they're not done. They're not done. But like so over the years, I had to watch them like, OK, they're good. Come on. Come on, get it out of the way. And then slowly, this pressure just slowly comes down, comes down. And then now it's like, uh oh. On you, man. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm just like. Hey, Leslie, but how do, you, how do you react to that pressure? I mean, what do you do with your folks? I mean, you got you to deal with them. Yeah. What do you do? How do you, how do, you deal with that? I just. I just point up. I'm just like, yo, go talk to, to go talk to David, my older brother. All right, and then you come back to me. Does that, does that, does that do it? I mean, mom says, okay, fine. Yeah, but they're just like, yeah, but David's not getting it done, so you need to. It's like, well, how where, how are you doing? And I was just like, well, it's going good. You guys know me. I'm diplomatic. I try and yeah, spin everything. So I'm just like, it's coming. I think. <laughs> All right. Okay. It is how, now three forty-three. Is there anything else? Last words we want to say? Because how shall Wu on Facebook Live says Sharon! Exclamation! Oh, yeah. Exclamation! Sharon! <laughs> okay. Just to just to let you know. <laughs> yeah. All right, Sharon. Let us let everyone know where they can find more information about you if if they if they want to date. Private message. PM me like on Instagram or Facebook. Yeah, you, <laughs> you got, got her. Date. Date. You got her. <laughs> Um, Sharon Kwan. Just look up Sharon Kwan. Sharon Kwan mm-hmm. on Facebook, Instagram, Weibo, mm-hmm. anything. Yeah, anything. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. That's all the time we have today for today's Real Talk. Thank you for listening to... Joey's Real Joey's Talk. Joey's Real Talk. Joey. Joey. Tune in again next Friday, every 3 o'clock for the next episode. Is Joey coming back? Next week? Next Never. week, I, I think. Ne- oh. Never. Oh, Is he on here every Friday? He's not. All right, Joey. Oh, my gosh. Joey's, Joey's Real Talk continues Joey. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Hello, handsome and gorgeous. Thank you for watching our video. If you like more general shenanigans or artist interviews, please make sure you click to the next video, but also make sure you subscribe to us by pressing the bell button down here because we like to tell you more about fun stuff coming up.